Alright guys, hi and welcome to the vlog. I'm actually going to jump right into this vlog and I had asked you guys last week for some feedback on certain things that you guys want to see in my vlogs and one of the most highly requested was a grocery haul or the type of foods that I eat and so I actually just got home from several different stores. So I want to show you guys a staple, like the staple foods that I usually buy every single week. Um, and I go to, we do Sam's Club, we do Sprouts, and then we also do Fries, which is like, which is our Kroger. So this is a mix of everything, just trying to get everything done. I have three different lists, um, depending upon, you know, like my Sprouts is like my health food stuff. Um, I buy a lot in bulk from Costco. And then Fries is just a traditional grocery store where I get a lot of our produce. So I'm gonna, um, take all these out and lay them on the counter and then I will show you guys kind of like a typical grocery haul. So this is a very typical grocery haul of things that I grab. So I usually buy romaine lettuce in bulk from Costco because Elliot and I both eat it and I'll do like lunches and, and or dinner. Um, so I'll do romaine lettuce and then I always get avocados every single week, um, Roma tomatoes, cucumbers, and then I do a bag of lemons for my salads. Um, and then you guys have seen this before. This is the dressing that I use. It's the Bullhouse Farms Classic Balsamic. I freaking love it. Um, and then we also go through so much of the salsa. It's so good. I buy this salsa at um, Sam's Club. So I'll do this on like my eggs. We eat it with chips, and I'll show you guys the chips we use. But we go through this a lot. He eats it on the turkey. Um, so two of those. So that's kind of like um, produce. I didn't really get any fruit this time because I still had some berries. Remy does blackberries, fresh blackberries, and then I actually do, I still have some, I do these from Costco, um, fresh frozen strawberries, um, and I did actually grab some bananas the other day. So I usually do mostly berries and bananas, um, and then I actually do have a cut up entire watermelon that I got this week. So it's kind of our fruits. All right. So going into carbs. Okay. So I did want to show you guys these. Um, I didn't need them, but this is a staple. These are the oats that I use, the Bob's Red Mill. Um, and then I do this bread. I do the Canyon Bakehouse gluten-free bread. And actually, Remy does the, this too because Elliot does this one. And I just, I feel like the grain's in there are a little bit too much. She doesn't have teeth yet. So he does the Dave's. I do gluten-free, so I get the Canyon Bakehouse. Um, and then these are the tortillas that I get, and I love them. Um, they don't roll the best, but I do these with eggs. Um, so I love those. I just picked some of this up again this week. Um, I really like this brand, and I actually like this... Um, flavor too. The Sunrise Crunchy Vanilla. It's really yummy. And then moving on to carbs. I eat these and so does Remy. I like the Vans. Um, blueberry waffles. They're so good. Um, so those are kind of like some of the healthy carbs. As far as proteins, um, we do turkey bacon. I usually uh, cook this up in bulk and then have it for eggs, on um, sandwiches, salads. So I just get the Oscar Mayer or there's a nitrate free run that I didn't have it this time. Um, I do a lot of egg whites, almond milk, we go through so much almond milk, I use it in my cereal, I use it in my shakes, I use it in my oatmeal, I use it in my coffee. Um, this is another one that we do, I do the 93.7 Lean Genio Turkey, um, and then I just cook it with a little bit of taco seasoning. That's all I do, and I have it for the week. Um, Elliot takes it to work with rice um, to have some snacks, so I buy the, what is it, six pounds worth? Um, it freezes well too. Um, I do canned chicken on occasion for my salads. Um, super easy and this is just like literally, I think it's basically just chicken. What does it say? Chicken and salt. Yeah, so I just do some of that. I'll put it in wraps. I'll um, mix it with some avocado, which is super good mashed up. Um, so I'll do that and then we do a ton, a ton of shrimp. So I have my shrimp. Um, this is the cheese that I use. I'll put this on a tortilla with some eggs or over a salad. I actually really like the cheddar and mozzarella style the best. Um, this isn't for me. Elliot eats the string cheese for snacks. Um, so moving over here, oh, I have my coffee creamer. I love my Nut Pods coffee creamer. This is the vanilla flavor. Um, and then I did get a little bit more of the liquid stevia that I put in my coffee as well. Um, these are some snacks I was eating in the car. I actually really like these. These are super good. But I ate those in the car. And then I did get a kombucha. This one's my favorite, the lemon cayenne. Um, some lemon pepper to season my um, shrimp. And I just I just happen to do salt-free. I mean, why not? You know, like I'll add some real salt or some pink Himalayan when I'm cooking eggs and stuff. But I, why not? I'll just add some uh, salt-free. 
Um, this is my favorite almond butter. I get it at Sam's Club. I like it because it's super runny. Um, you know you have a good almond butter when literally the only ingredient is almonds and salt. So super good there. Um, these are the chips that we really like. We like the Siete brand when they're on sale, and they were. So I got the nacho free, or the nacho, the dairy free nacho. Super good. All of Siete are grain free, vegan. So um, got some plain rice cakes. Um, this is the rice that Elliot uses because he likes it. I've tried to make him the regular rice, guys, and he likes the ready rice. So we buy that. Super easy for him to make. 90 seconds in the microwave. And then these fig bars. Um, I like these a lot. There's no high fructose and corn syrup, so it's way better than um, uh, the nature. Or excuse me, the Nutrigrain. So Elliot eats these, and actually Remy eats these for breakfast as well. So. So that's kind of a typical like staples in my fridge. Um, actually, I haven't even looked at my fridge, so I don't even know what's in here right now. <laughs> so, okay, so here's my fridge, it's really sad. So I guess there's some berries, some uh, watermelon. I guess I did have some lemons, oh well. Oh, there's an apple. A Little bit of lettuce that I had from this week. A uh, little bit of egg whites, more almond milk. I guess I didn't need almond milk. Should've looked at my fridge. Leftover baby food. <laughs> Um, yeah, it's kind of sad. So this is literally like my fridge. And I didn't even take anything out. I'm just showing you guys my fridge. All right, Remy's awake. Good morning and happy Saturday. It's about 6.15 um, and I figured I would show you guys a full day of eating. Um, I am here with my lemon water. So I have my lemon water, I just sliced a lemon, squeeze in here. Um, I've got my vegan aminos in here, and I'm gonna have a little bit of this Vitality pre-workout to start my morning. Usually I work out a little bit earlier than this during the week, um, but I woke up a little bit later, and then I just took my before photos for the fall ADO challenge. So I had my husband take those for me. Um, but I usually don't eat before I work out because I work out so early before Remy gets up. So. Usually don't eat anything unless I'm like super, super starving in the morning and I might have like a rice cake with some peanut butter or a rice cake with like some jam or something like that for quick carbs. Um, but I'm feeling okay this morning, so I'm just gonna drink my water um, and then pour myself my pre-workout and get a little workout in before Remy wakes up. is start with 10 minutes of incline walking so that's what I started with and then I just wrote my workout on the board here so I'm gonna do like similar to the ADO challenge style where there's three different circuits four times through so I'm going to go ahead and film all of these for you and then I'm gonna finish out with a burnout um, of kickbacks so let's do it I've got all my other workouts written here but we're gonna start with the blue one all right, hi guys, and welcome back to another commentary. So kicking off this workout, I did a quick little warm up of two exercises back to back. You guys have seen these before, but I did 20 fire hydrants per leg, and then I went right into these single leg knee to chest glute bridges to really open up the hips and pre-activate those glutes. I did about 15 per leg of these uh, knee to chest glute bridges, and I completed the superset, I think two times, maybe three times. Going into the first circuit, these are three exercises are all back to back. I started with 30 banded glute bridges and then immediately went right into 20 banded hip thrusts. I like the hip thrust because uh, they give you a little bit more of a greater range of motion than the glute bridges. So I superset those and then to finish that off, I did these standing hip hinge abductions. These are actually pretty difficult, um, so I'm sitting my hips back, and if you guys can see, I'm rolling up onto the sides of my feet there, and really abducting those hips and keeping a nice hinge in my glutes. The second circuit are these plank 
kickback. These were actually really difficult for me to keep my form, uh, keep my core nice and tight as well as really focus on driving that heel up and back. Then I went into these lying hamstring curls. I love these, but the trick with these are to keep your hips pinned to the floor as much as you can and try not to arch that lower back. I swear you'll feel these in your hamstrings. I finished off this circuit with these plank crunches. Same thing, I wanna try to keep my core nice and tight. It's almost like you're piking, but you have that extra resistance of the bands. These are pretty difficult, give them a shot. The third circuit are the slider lateral lunges. So I have a slider under my foot there. And again, I'm sitting back into my uh, hip there. So my right leg, I'm actually really feeling this in my glute. My weight is in my right heel. If you put too much weight on the slider, it's actually gonna stop and it won't work. So you're, it's almost like a single leg squat. Try these out. The second exercise in this circuit are these knee banded chachas. I absolutely love these and paired with the lateral uh, slider lunges from before. Oh my gosh, I felt a really big glute activation burnout here. So yeah, these are pretty difficult. And then of course I had, you know, I had to burn out my glutes even more. So I went into these single leg banded glute bridges. Something about adding a band to the single leg bridges made, oh my gosh, kill me every single time. But my weight is in that working heel and I'm squeezing those glutes up at the top. And then if my glutes hadn't have enough hell, I went ahead and finished off with back to back super, or excuse me, back to back rounds of these glute kickbacks. Done with the workout and Remy is just waking up so we're gonna go grab her and then take her and the dogs on a quick walk before it gets too hot. It's still like 105 I think and it's September 19th. Just finished our walk and I have not showered yet but I'm making breakfast for the family so Remy is walking around with some milk and a fig bar um, and so I've got Cooking up some turkey bacon over here. Um, I am going to do a brown rice tortilla with some cheese on that. Um, and then I'm cooking up some egg whites and of one whole egg yolk. Um, I just made my husband's breakfast, so I've got cheese, bacon, um, and egg on some Dave's Killer Bread, so that's his breakfast. Yes, Remy. So yeah, a million things that went, oh, I got coffee going. Um, and I think she just pooped. So I need to go change a diaper really fast. I'll show you guys the finished product. I'll show you guys the finished product when it's all done. Okay, so here's the finished product. I've got a ton of egg whites, one whole egg under here. Um, got a little brown on the pan. Two slices of turkey bacon. Um, the Ezekiel tortilla with some melted cheese on there. I am going to go ahead and put a little bit of this avocado salsa on top. Voila. 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 Meal number one. So I need to make my coffee. Um, babe, I made your coffee too. Um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and put a couple tablespoons oh. of this creamer and some almond milk. Oh, and my stevia drops. So that's breakfast. Quick little update, it is about 11, 12, um, and we hung out in the backyard for a little bit, <sighs> played outside, she wanted to go in the wagon again. I went upstairs, I showered, um, picked up my bedroom a little bit, put some clothes away, and then I just, I just put her down for a nap about 15 minutes ago. So I'm currently sitting here doing my catch up on all of my photos. So I have her baby book right here that I need to put in um, weeks or excuse me, months. I think I'm on month. Did I do month nine? I did do month nine. Okay, so month nine. I needed to catch up on ten, um, ten and eleven, and then I have some other photos I need to put in here. Um, this is her first birthday, which I'll have to do. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna do that, and then I'm actually putting in all of the other full rooms photos in this photo album, and then for her birthday. I'm actually doing like a little banner of like one, two months, three months. I have all the way up to 11 months right now. So got all that done. Um, but after that breakfast, I mean, that breakfast was pretty large. Um, 
told Elliot, I was like, I just dumped the rest of the egg whites into my pan because I didn't think there was that many left in the carton and I am so full. So I haven't really eaten anything else. Um, I am still working on my coffee and I am drinking one of these right now, these sparkling kavitas. I'm like a kombucha. I don't think that those ones actually have alcohol in them, but um, so I'm drinking one of those right now while I work on this and um, Elliot's outside um, picking up the backyard because um, we have both trash pickup this week. So there's a lot of stuff we just want to get rid of. Um, like I said, I don't know if I said this before on here, but Remy's one year birthday party is in two weeks. So I'm getting things ready for that. I want the backyard completely cleaned out and just like, you know, stuff that gets kind of saved on the side of the house that we actually never ended up using. So um, he's out there doing that right now. And yeah, I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of update on what I've been doing. I'm sorry the lighting is so crappy in here. So I'm gonna work on this for a little bit. Everybody. So I did, I have my husband's sandwich right here and I did some of this chicken mixed with a little bit of avocado and mustard and then some turkey bacon and cheese. So I'm about to make mine and then I have Remy's right here. So I'll show you guys what I do. and I just have some chicken with some avocado and then a little bit of mustard um, on the gluten-free bread that I showed you guys yesterday. Um, and then Remy has some PB and J, um, some watermelon, and some um, cheese curls. It's cheese curls. So. I am going to eat some lunch with the family here and keep you guys updated on the my next meal is about 1 p.m. Okay, so for a snack, I had two of these. This is my second one. Um, rice cakes with some almond butter and natural jelly. I like this one because there's no high fructose corn syrup. So I just did two rice cakes, uh, almond butter and jelly. And then I had one of those little cookie dough bites um, that I showed you guys yesterday. The These ones. because we really like these chips. These are like the sweet potato chips from Kroger. They're so good. So I had a little bit of that with some salsa um, when I woke up from my 30 minute nap. So yeah, I'm gonna have another one of these rice cakes and then um, in about an hour or so, I'm gonna start cooking dinner. I think we're gonna do like taco salads. So I am currently trying to find better lighting, but um, I am making the ground turkey right now. If you guys don't have one of these for ground meat, you need one because it's pretty freaking amazing. It like breaks it up. So all I do is just put the ground turkey in the pan like so. I think this was a pampered chef item. I'm not sure though. I'm inside cooking dinner and Elia is out there pulling Remy around in the wagon. She freaking loves this wagon. We got it on Facebook Marketplace for like 50 bucks and it's in pretty good condition. Um, 
but she wants to go outside so bad and be in this wagon, so he's pulling her around the backyard in it. So I got some green leaf lettuce all washed and then I'm gonna dry. And I am just going to slice this all up. I'm weird and I don't like the really leafy tops. It grosses me out. taco salad um, and then I usually do that balsamic dressing but I think I'm just gonna add a little bit of salsa and make it like a true taco salad so I asked my husband I was like I'm doing ground turkey tonight um, because he's on shift tomorrow so what I usually do is cook up three pounds of ground turkey um, to keep in the fridge and then I'll pack him two meals tonight so I'm actually going to do that now so for his lunch meals I usually just take one of these um, I have two here and I'm going to do a pack of jasmine rice and then about five or six ounces of ground beef in each one. Um, and so I asked him, I was like, do you want a salad? I'm doing ground turkey for the meat. Do you want a salad? Do you want tacos? Do you want a wrap? Um, I should, I was going to get potatoes tonight and I wanted to do fries in the air fryer and then turkey burgers and I totally forgot potatoes. So I switched it to Mexican thing. Um, but... He just asked for rice tonight. So people always ask me, well, my husband's a picky eater or I don't wanna just make a meal for myself. It's hard for me because I make the meals for the family. I really just pick a protein. Um, and sometimes there's nights where I'm like, I don't feel like cooking, so I've got shrimp in the fridge or I've got extra fish uh, cod in the fridge or I have ground turkey in the fridge. Can we make something with that? Um, or I'll plan for the week. Maybe I'll have some already pre-made turkey burgers that he's grilled up throughout the week and I'm just like, okay, let's zap some of those. I'll throw some potatoes in the air fryer or whatever. Um, so I usually start with a protein and then kind of give him options. Um, sometimes it's, hey, I've got, I'm gonna cook up some shrimp for myself. Uh, I'm gonna do some shrimp and rice. Do you want me to throw some pasta on for you too? Or something like that. And then of those meals, I kind of make something for Remy as well. She has a little bit of all of it. Um, or none of it and then um, some baby food and some milk so I just kind of try to keep it simple I don't mind um, like I said I have one pan cooking um, there will be some nights where I'll be cooking ground turkey for him to take to work and I'll also make some shrimp or something and so I'll have two pans going um, but for the most part I try to cook in bulk we just happen to be out of ground turkey for him to take to work tomorrow so that's kind of my advice for that um, and I plan ahead for the week too, so I think maybe tomorrow I should run and grab some potatoes because I totally forgot I wanted potatoes for this week um, as our carb source. But usually it's like rice or potatoes or I'll eat more carb heavy during the day. Um, I, skipped a, I skipped a snack today. I had cereal on the menu. I was going to do some cereal with protea, um, protein powder and I totally skipped it. Um, but whatever, I guess I was hungry enough. So um, I'll usually do like lighter at dinner, more healthy fats, proteins, and veggies, just because I don't like going to bed on a really full stomach. Um, and it's six o'clock right now, so it's a little bit later for us to be eating. Remy just slept a little bit longer. Uh, so sometimes I'll have another meal before I go to bed, and, or a snack really, it's just like some rice cake and some protein powder or something like that. So we'll just kind of see how I'm feeling. Um, but yeah, that's my tips on that. I'm gonna get this meat cooked, and I'm gonna get his meal done, and then get Remy's ready to go. So this looks pretty good, so I'm gonna go ahead and drain out the fat here. I just did two packages because it's yesterday, but I just did two packets of the low sodium Annie's. 
Now, she, my child is not really vegan. She is eating dairy. I just don't, I don't want her to have any weird food aversions and I don't want her to be the three year old at the birthday party that can't eat the cake. But this, the Annie's brand, they were actually on sale. The vegan ones were a dollar versus all the other ones were like a buck 79. So I need a good bargain and she doesn't seem to notice that it's vegan or not. So that's why it's vegan. Just thought I'd mention that. Um, but she doesn't have any teeth. So it's like she's limited still on the kinds of foods she can eat. So yeah, so it seems like a lot. I cook like this every single night. Um, but it's really not, it's easy. I make really simple meals, guys. And it's important to me that we have dinner as a family and we sit down as a family. I grew up that way. I remember when I got a little bit older, I was really annoyed by it that we had to eat as a family all the time. But I think it's important, so, um, yeah. Um, he's watching by me right now. If he was on shift, I usually have her in a walker, kind of chilling, walking around, and usually I plan ahead. So like, if he's on shift tomorrow, I'll probably have some of this ground turkey and just make a quick salad for myself and heat up her meal. Like, I'm planning ahead because I can't be in front of the stove and watching her. So I just kind of, again, plan ahead. Um, so, yeah, those are my tips. There. In your arms of gold In your arms of gold I rise from the ashes With pins and patches We carry on I rise from the ashes I heal from your passion My doubts are gone bed and I am doing my last step before I go to bed so what I do is I just did I just heated like about a cup yeah, eight ounces of water in the microwave for a minute I take my GI assist so I'll do a scoop of that mix it around in there and then I also do a scoop of the calm magnesium before bed I've been taking this, uh, I guess even before I got pregnant. I definitely took it when I was pregnant because it helped me go to the bathroom. Um, but this GI assist only has 20 milligrams of magnesium in it. And so I take a little bit more. If you take two tablespoons, excuse me, two teaspoons of this, it's 325 milligrams. So I usually take about one, maybe one and a half. Um, just keep my teaspoon in there. So... So, and that is what is fizzy. So then I just mix it all in there. I think it's raspberry lemon and the GI assist is Tropic Zen. It doesn't make any difference to me. But I told you guys earlier that I missed one of the meals that I had pre-planned in my fitness pal. Um, I made up for the carbs pretty much with the chips that I threw in. But I think I'm going to have one last snack. And I'm just going to do um, a scoop of protea protein with a little bit of almond milk. I'm just going to mix that together and then make a little spread on a rice cake. So I'll show you guys that. But I'm just going to do that really fast. I weigh everything. So, like, I think a scoop of this is 33 grams. So I literally weigh everything. So much. It's just easier. It's more precise. So I do just a little bit of almond milk. Here. And then I just mix it until it's like spread consistency. It's literally like the best thing to get a sweet tooth to with the chocolate protea. You can even put like raspberries on top or if I have extra fats and stuff, I'll do chocolate and almond butter so it's like a chocolate PB. But see then it's just literally like a spread. Oops. 
here is the finished product. Oh, because I know you guys are gonna ask, my pro, my macros right now are 120 grams of protein, 200 grams of carbs, and 70 grams of fat. So I'm not sure how many calories that is. I don't even know. I don't even have my phone down here. Um, but. I got a ton of protein in this morning with all of those egg whites. I think I did 190 grams. So I think that first meal kind of threw me off because it was a ton of food, but I'm just going to finish off with this and drink my GI assist. And so that's like a pretty typical day of eating. If you guys noticed, I didn't eat my oats this morning. Um, I wanted to mix it up and have some eggs. And since I was home and cooking breakfast for my husband on the weekend and Remy, I just decided to do eggs for everybody. So I will mix it up, but the grocery haul that you guys saw at the beginning of this vlog, Again, it's a pretty typical staple grocery haul. The only thing I forgot, again, was potatoes and sweet potatoes because we eat a ton of potatoes and sweet potatoes. I do have sweet potatoes in there, but I didn't get regular brown potatoes to make my french fries tonight. Gonna need to do that. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I really appreciate you guys' feedback. Um, I'm going to continue to put out content that you guys have said that you want to see. I think one of the other common ones was how do I order when I eat out? And I'll be honest with you, we don't eat out, like, ever. Um, one, it's the expense. Two, I mean, COVID, obviously. Um, two, I'm just, I don't, I'm not a fast fat, bleh, I'm not a fast food person. I didn't grow up that way. LA didn't grow up that way. Um, three, it's very difficult for us to eat out with a baby. <laughs> it's just hard. I mean, we fly through meals here because she's, you know, I'm done or I want more. She, she doesn't sit very long. So we eat very fast as, as it is. Um, and even when we were dating, we're not been going out to eat people. But I do know when situations arise. And so it might be kind of fun and a change up for me to just do like a day where I order out or I eat food or I show you guys like things that I get like if I go to Starbucks, um, if I'm traveling, um, things like that. So maybe I'll put together a vlog kind of like that. Um, but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, continue to leave me feedback. I loved it on my last video. It was amazing. Um, subscribe if you haven't. And... I will see you guys all in my next one. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.